Harold Pinter as an artist. Pinter essentially deals with political matters because Pinter believes that an artist should remain as a political intelligence. Pinter contends that the struggle for power and domination are inseparable. However, the artist has to resist domination. Art is a real responsibility because it can carry a force that can go into people's minds and influence them. Thus to Pinter, art is an attempted provocative act and the artist should have an unflinching, unswerving and fierce intellectual determination. People often accept and get resigned to oppressive circumstances, but art has to respond and appeal to the people's sense of justice. The integrity and the intellectual rigor of the artist can take on the Philistine forces of domination. Pinter grants that the artist's life is vulnerable and remains exposed to shallow, atrocious forces. Yet, the artist has the obligation, both as an artist and as a citizen, to resist all levels of domination and all forms of covert and overt violence. Pinter asserts that use of violence to remove violence is egregious and must seem sensual. Pinder has always condemned violence and war mongering countries. For example, he was very active in the anti-war movement in the United Kingdom. While Pinder struggled to expose the appalling project of the United States for world domination through full spectrum dominance, Pinter agrees that violence is inherent in human nature. But principles of democracy are supported. Principles of democracy have to purge communities and countries of violence.